In this video, we will walk through how to make a connected software company connection in John Deere Operations Center. A software connection allows data to flow freely between multiple systems. By connecting your John Deere organization to external software, you can reduce the need for duplicate data entry and manual file uploads. To make a connection, select Setup in the top header and navigate to Connections. Here, you can view any existing software company connection under Organization Connections. If you are not connected with any existing company, you can view additional companies that are part of the John Deere ecosystem under the header Available Connections. Use the filters on the top to sort organization connections by status, connection category, company, country, supported languages, and cost. You can also utilize the search bar to search for a specific company by name. To demonstrate today, we will connect our organization to Granular Insights. Locate the data card from the list of available connections and click Connect, and then Connect again. From here, you will be directed to Granular Insights website to log in with your user credentials for the company. Depending on the type of connection, follow the on-screen instructions to set up the connection. This may involve entering equipment details, configuring data sharing settings, or integrating with compatible third-party systems. Once you complete the login workflow and agree to share your data, you will be directed back to Operations Center. If you are partnered with any organizations, you would be able to toggle them on or off here if you wish. Once you click Save, you will have officially made the connection. In order to make connections, a staff member or partner will need to be granted permission to do so in Team. First, select the user in Team. Click Access on the right, then scroll down and click Edit. Under Organization Management, you will find a permission checkbox allowing the person to share organization data with connected software companies. Once you check the box, the user will be able to make connections on the organization's behalf. Note that any user with Organization Access Level 2 will automatically have this box checked, allowing those users to continue to make connections. Organization Admin should make it a practice to audit those who have this permission granted on a regular basis. Thanks for watching.